Good morning, welcome back. As you've seen by the title, we're going to do a 2023 Panini Donruss Fat Pack. Picked these up last week at Target, along with the uh, blaster box that we found. The blaster box really wasn't too bad that we ripped the other day. So last night, went to an auction on the south side of Indianapolis. Do the best we can here with our zoom and scroll. Went to an auction, and... Uh, I'd seen it advertised on Facebook. They had a lot of uh, NASCAR model kits unopened and some die cast and just some random stuff. No thick cards. And I was, went down hoping to maybe get something for a decent price. And unfortunately, like with many auctions nowadays, the room was packed and I could tell there was a lot of people there for the model cars and a lot of people there for the die cast. And Boy, when they uh, when they uh, dropped the hammer on those, the hounds came out and they were chewing them, and it was a bidding war that I didn't want to get into. So, walked away empty-handed. But you know, we'll we'll uh, continue to do our searches on eBay, and of course, Facebook's got some great NASCAR card groups, and then you know, just our flea markets. I enjoy going to the flea markets because I think you can really get some good deals at flea markets as well. But they did have a lot of, some of the older NASCAR uh, authentics, like th these are the new ones here. But they had some from, you know, 2014, 2015, 2016. Would have been nice to have added some of those because I didn't pick up many of those then. But still it was a fun, fun, uh, fun evening to just kind of go down there, check it out. May go back because they said they have more stuff, but we'll just kind of have to play that one by ear. Auctions are always hit and miss. And it was really cramped in there it was uh you definitely tell that it was uh you had regulars that were in there but still it was a fun time you know not gonna complain that i walked away empty-handed because hey still still have uh still have some still have some dead presidents in my wallet to go spend on some other stuff so anyway we're gonna start with our little pack of cards here we've got austin Cindric, 2022 day 2500 winner danica patrick of course she's in some hot water with her recent statement Richard Petty, Haley Deegan, still looking for her first career top five finish in the trucks. Rated rookie, Lawless Allen. Another Richard Petty. This one from, yeah, it's 1992. He's got the fan appreciation logo right there. Joey Gase, co-owner of Emerling Gase Motorsports. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., this year's Daytona 500 winner. Ryan Vargas, I'd really like to see him get a good ride. I think he could... Think he could shine in a good car. Got two Ryan Vargas's back to back. Eric Jones, he's had some strong runs lately in that 43 car. Landon Castle. And Landon's he's an anomaly of the sport. It's like when he's in a in a Johnny Davis car or when he's in one of those, remember the LJ Racing and some of the other cars he was in in the Cup Series. He drove beyond the 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 means of that car and of course last year he was in a college car missed the playoffs with some issues in the last race and it, he just seems like one of these drivers that he's going to always outperform in an underfunded car but under deliver in a fully funded car kyle larson race kings like that uh patriotic sleeve there never noticed that one before at least i haven't casey kane kind of a legacy bill elliott hall of famer this must be a pole win from the Winston in, I'm going to guess, 90, 2000. I was going to say 99, but 2000. Corey LaJoy still looking for that first NASCAR win, Cup Series. Jeff Gordon, four-time champ. 2004 champ, Kurt Busch, Race Kings. Last year's breakout driver, Ross Chastain. Of course, I guess you could put Christopher Bell in that as well. Ooh, that's a nice optic of Kurt Busch. Pretty sharp card. Then we have a Ty Gibbs. Gray border. Jesse Awuji. Rated rookie. Carolina Blue. Brad K. Carolina Blue. That one looks really good. I really like how that one looks. Retail exclusive. C. Bell. We just spoke about him a minute ago. And there is a Daniel Suarez Elite Series. That's a little much lavender. I think they could have uh, did the border maybe a little darker. 
but that's just me. Another C Bell under the lights. Pretty nice looking car. Should be getting our checkerboard soon. Another Unleash. This is this is the Daniel Suarez Christopher Bell insert pack. So an Unleashed of Daniel Suarez. Then this is going to be our checkerboard of Kurt Busch. What now? The two Kurt Busch cards we have got so far have been very nice. So uh, that one's very, very, very nice looking. Kyle Busch optics. We got two optics in this pack. And then a Tyler Reddick Blue Wave. So um, I'm going to take a look at that first Kyle Busch. I think it's a silver optic. It's not numbered. But it is the silver optic. But hands down in my book, hands down, that is card of the day. The revved up. You get that Jordan paint scheme back there. You get that checkerboard and just that, that gradient of red to blue makes that card look spectacular. So we'll get that one sleeved up here shortly. But anyway, thanks again for watching. Sorry I drew, talked a little long at the beginning about the auction, but I hadn't been to an auction in a long time. And it was, you know, like I said, there's a lot of... I, I can tell the people that were resellers and I can tell the people that was buying stuff because it was like, hey, that's going in my collection, you know? And, you know, I don't want to call myself a reseller, but I don't want to say that I'm not because if I don't go out looking to sell, but if somebody offers me a price, then yeah, I'll, I'll uh, entertain it. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Make sure you come back at noon for Fast Packs where we'll be ripping a pack of 1989 Don Russ Baseball. So thanks again for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button on your way out. And we will see you later.